Next into the tank is Year 8 science enthusiast Isabella Dimilovsky. I like science because there's an answer for everything and you're either wrong or right. And it's really fun mixing things in chemistry. <laughs> Probably the turning point in my business was when I was starting to take it to school to test out for focus groups and people were like, oh, where can we get this? And I'm like, oh, there's really nowhere you can get it. And then that was really when I realised that it could be an actual business. Yeah. Yeah, I have a bit of a busy schedule, like, with school and, like, the business, but it, I make it work. I'm Izzy. I'm a 13-year-old student from Melbourne and in the past five years I've been the founder of Love Yourself and the creator of Love Your Skin. And today I'll be offering 20% of my business for an investment of $65,000. Love Your Skin and Love Your Body are a beautiful range of products for tweens by a tween and is a natural made Australian range which includes a set of face and body products which include washes, moisturizers and lip balms. It is one of the few tween ranges in the world and is the only tween range in the world to include an Australian extract called Plantlin. This is from the Australian native plant Centipeda Cunninghamii. This is proven to have anti-inflammatory benefits and antioxidant benefits and is scientifically proven to be suitable in all skin types and safe and effective for children. Love Your Body is a fun range of accessories, including trendy glow-in-the-dark nail polishes in the latest colours and funky silicone shoelaces, so you can slip in and out of your shoes with no worries. I created this brand to help girls get into a healthy lifestyle routine and to help them feel more comfortable in their own skin. Because everyone deserves to be confident in their own skin. Yep. Well, well done, done. Izzy. Hey, great job. Great That's an amazing job. So, Izzy, <laughs> that was $65,000 for 20% of yes. your company. Why don't you show us a bit about your product? Sure, so if anyone would like to come up and sample the products, okay. maybe one of the girls. Can we but, hand you know, some out as well? One of the girls. Yeah. One of you I girls. won't judge. I'm not going to judge. Uh, honestly. Oh, no, you guys have all the fun. She's not going to judge her head. You I'm can feeling, try them. I'm feeling left out. I'm liking her them. already. Can't I look? Yeah, sure, of course you can look. I can look. <laughs> okay, so we have the body products, which are in yeah. like raspberry and berry fragrances. So we have the body lotion, and then we also have the face products. The lip glosses, the, the vanilla one has vanilla bean in it, and the berry one has raspberry. Did you have these formulated for you? Yes, I did. Um, my mum got in touch with one of her friends who's a chemist, and then they gave me formulas and bases, and I worked off those. Which one's the hand cream? Um, this one. OK, here we go. Oh, look, it's pink. Yeah. Ish. Shall we do you now? In hmm? bright green iridescent. <laughs> See if it works. What do you thumb? A green thumb, mate. I also have booklets for all of you about the financial side of the business. OK, I, I can handle that. OK, thank you. I oh, know. <laughs> but... I smell very young. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew smells very, like, nail polish. I've got green nails. See, in the I'm going to glow green in the dark. <laughs> Izzy? Yeah. Can you just explain what's in this book for us, please? OK, so in this booklet is basically the financial side of the business, it's all the sales, it's all the margins, and it's also a social media marketing plan to help, um, which is another way to expand the business. And it's also a little bit more about me and the brand. So tell me the story about how you came up with the products. OK, so, you know, I love dancing and I came home from a dance concert one night and I wanted to take off my makeup and use some of my mum's products, but I wasn't allowed because they were all too toxic and I wasn't old enough to use it. And she said, you have to use baby products, and I'm like, but I'm not a baby, I can't use those. And she's like, well, if you want, you can make your own stuff. And she didn't realise how seriously I would take it. <laughs> and what does your mum and dad do? And how do they help you in this business? Oh, well, my dad works in real estate and then my mum works in the biotech business. She's mainly helps me with like organising meetings and working out like where to get the tubes from and how to get the actual formulas. So Izzy, you've been in business for five years. Yes. What are your sales? OK, so currently we've been on the market for about six months and we've averaged about $6,000 worth of sales. Per month, sorry, or...? Uh, $6,000 altogether. This is fantastic and you're an incredibly impressive young lady. But you obviously need to go to school. <laughs> so how are you going to work 
you know, because if this takes off, if it goes nuts, people want their product, no matter how much they like you, they'll still want their product on time. How will you manage that? Um, well, yeah, of course I do go to school, but I work on a lot of it during the weekends and, like, Recently, I've had a lot of meetings after school and stuff, and I've been able to manage it pretty well, so I yeah. think I'd go pretty well. It, it manage it very well now, though, but when it takes off, it will be a beast to manage. Thirteen-year-old school student Izzy Dimilovsky is hoping to find an investor for her skincare range for tweens, but could her age be a hurdle? This is fantastic, and you're an incredibly impressive young lady. But you obviously need to go to school. <laughs> yeah, because if this takes off, no matter how much they like you, they'll still want their product on time. I've had a lot of meetings after school and stuff, and I've been able to manage it pretty well, so I think I'd go pretty well. It, it manage it very well now, though, but when it takes off, it will be a beast to manage. I'm with Janine. You were actually impressive. If you were 17, 18 years old, just finished grade 12, would I would offer you a job or an investment or whatever you wanted in a heartbeat. You are <laughs> essentially very impressive. But the problem is that you've got four exceptionally important years ahead of you. I wish you all the best. It's, it's not an investment for me yet. After you finish school, and I, I look forward to having a chat, but I, I'm out. OK, thank you. Well, Izzy, look, you're just remarkable. I'm sort of sitting here a bit stunned, don't know what to do. I used to be in the cosmetics business in a company called The Heat Group. I was a shareholder oh, in Melbourne. I've heard about that. I'm not sure your business at this stage is investable yeah. for me. I'm not sure I'm the right partner, but I'm certainly going to do my best to introduce you to someone who can carry you forward. But as an investor, I'm out. OK. Izzy, I know how important that particular gifting market is. So what I would like to do is test this as a gift. I can help you with that with Red Balloon. I'm not going to be making investment, but I am going to be helping you. I'm out. OK, thank you. I, you know, like, like you, sort of started with nothing and sort of grew it from something to, to the next step, the next step, the next step. Mm -hmm. So I've learnt lots of lessons along the way. I'm happy to share with you those lessons, mm -hmm. happy to mentor you on your journey and help you fulfil this dream that you have with this business, which I think is great. Thank you. I'm there for you, but I'm not there for you for okay. the business. OK. So I'm out. Your uh, mum and dad must be exceptionally proud. Yeah, are they, they here? Are. Yeah, they are. I'd love to meet them. Okay. But, but bring them out. Oh, okay, yeah. sure. We have to applaud their mentoring and their support for you. I'd just like to see them. Sure. They're just back there, I think. Go and get them. Go and get them. Go get them. I didn't. <laughs> Don't get hit by Not the door. Not the first time I've almost been crushed by a door. So I'm the only guy left. Yeah, yeah. I told Hello. you it was daunting. Congratulations, Mum and Dad. Proud parents, no doubt. Extremely. Yeah. Unbelievable. But I can just imagine from the moment she could walk, she was into everything, she was into the kitchen. Was she the sort of child that said, why, Mummy, why? Uh, I don't know whether it was why. If anything, she'd probably try to give us the answers <laughs> rather than, <laughs> rather than asking works. us why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, actually, yeah. But, yeah, very proud. So, Glenn, are you the only one left? Yeah, and I look, and I think... The reality is, it's a very early stage business. It's going to go somewhere, it's going to fly. You've got some wonderful people here prepared to mentor you. And from a retail point of view, I'm ha happy to be added to your Shark Tank Brains Trust. But right at the moment, in terms of investment, I'm afraid I'm going to have to be out. Okay. Thank you for this opportunity. Not everybody comes in here uh, and gets that support, but you've got the support of all the sharks here. You've got a shark's brain trust behind you. Go out there and uh, inspire all those other young Australians. Um, I actually have packs for all of you. Oh, oh awesome. awesome. See? Are for you, for red oh, and And then these ones are for Boost, because it's kind of orange, but oh, oh, I, I left the green ones at home. Oh, I've got red ones. Okay. Okay, thank Thanks, you. Izzy. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. How cool is that?
Well. That was awesome. Yeah, see, I told you I'd get some makeup in the end. <laughs> You'd need it. That's right, exactly. You know, when you're my age. Mum and Dad, are you glad that that was the advice to come out of the tank? Stay oh. at school, finish high school? I was. I was That's... expecting that. She can keep doing this, you know, in her spare time, but really there is a focus for school. So finish high school and then world domination. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you're right with that? Yeah, I'm fine. Next into the tank, an entrepreneur who's invested his life savings into a product that's more than skin deep. Hi Sharks, thanks for having me. My name's Roberto Derso, inventor of patented Smooth Edge Micro Groove technology. Today the offer is 1.1 million for ownership of 50% in a partnership with the Sharks to take this product to the world. What this product does is it cleans away dead skin, dirt and muck quickly, simply and easily. You just jump in the shower and you put one of these tools on. It's a smooth edge tool with micro grooves. And so you just put your tool on, you do your normal wash. At the end of the shower, you simply place the tool at 90 degrees and clear away all the dead skin, dirt, muck, pollution, makeup, just goes. For smoother, clearer, healthier, younger looking skin, instantly. And just on your face or on other parts Anywhere of your body? Anywhere you like. Anywhere you like. Anywhere, Anywhere you want to get rid of bumps. Yeah. Can we have a look at one of those? Yeah. I've got some yeah. legs here. I can use it on my legs and see if it works. Yeah. Thanks, Roberto. Yeah. Right. Yeah, All right, okay. perfect. Thank you very much. Hey, Roberto, Steve Baxter, how you doing? Why is it strapped to your hand? It's, it's really designed for ease. Yeah, I think it's it quite easy. practical because I've always got things falling off a bathroom shelf, so I think the fact that you're yeah, hanging you on can the hang tap... Can I grab a demonstration yeah. of it? Can you grab me the water thing? Spray the water. You know, this is a family show, don't you? It's a leg. No, just checking. <laughs> just checking. So you spray it? And then you just glide the tool. It doesn't have the hair off that, does it? No, it just no. takes the skin. But there's no moving parts in here, is there? No. It's the microscopic grooves. So when we, when we produce the, the steel blade or edge, we call it a, so, a smooth edge. Yeah, I, actually, can, I can see them. You can see them with the naked eye. You can see the little, in the light, you'll see the little grooves. Yeah. Why did you come up with it? Because I had my own shaving rash problem and I worked out what the problem was. And from there, it grew. And that was, that was in 1998. So this has been a long process. They actually do. I mean, genuinely, right? I did that side and I did that side and you can definitely feel the difference. Instant. You can. It does feel smooth. Can I come and feel that? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to feel? <laughs> <laughs> it's really great packaging. Are you a marketer? What's your background? I've been in sales all my life. I've got proven sales. I've got uh, nearly a half a million tools in the field globally. Yeah. Really? Um, that's just from me going out and half visiting a people. 500,000 of yeah. these suckers are out there. Yeah, and they're we've already never out heard there. Of them. Wow. Yeah. So, how much is it going to sell for? Now, the beauty of it is I've got the manufacturing set up in China. It's all yeah. done. $1.35 right. to produce that pack. $1.35. $1.35. Wow. Keep going. What are they going to sell for? Now, the retail price. Uh, 19 to 29 dollars 19 to 29 it's the same thing you can't get fries with it so what why the variation in price oh, because in the us uh like walmart they they will sell it for 19 90, 19 dollars we've got an agreement with them already so it's already place. in walmart in the it's us it's there but we need one more product which takes me to the next level this is a prototype we've gone electric and this is why I'm here today. Introducing the tool, the partnership, but then we're going to make the electric one. And that's ready to go. So what we need is this product made, and that's what I'm using the funds to create. Then we go to Walmart and get two products in there, because you need two products. Why, why do you need why two you products? Because that's, their, that's, their that's, that's what they ask of us. So when you become not, a, it's not in Walmart at the moment? It's there, but we haven't got the second product. So in. is it selling? It's there, so is it selling? It's on the web. So oh, it's selling so it's more, on the web, not, not in store. Walmart yeah. online, OK. Yeah. Maybe we need to talk about some revenues over the last two years, what your growth looks like, what your margin is, what profit's coming through. Yeah, tell, tell us about how you run the business. That's what I'd like to hear. 
Well, from the very beginning, as you know, you, you start off, you make 10,000 units, you get some money, and then, you, then we move to... you sell 500,000 units? Yeah, and then what's happened is... So how progressed. much did that translate to in money? Probably about 1.5 million. And so what did you do with the 1.5 million? Just put it back into the business. So how much have you invested in this business today? All up about 2.5 million. That's startup capital and your ongoing operational. Yes. 2.5 of your own money. You've got the product up and running. You've got into Walmarts, which is one of the hardest things for anyone to do ever. At this point, if you're growing like this, you don't give away 50% of your business. That seems weird to me. Are you hurting for cash right now? Roberto Durso is keen to partner with a shark and is offering 50% of his skincare company Exfolimate in return for $1.1 million. But Andrew wants to know why Roberto is giving up half of his business. At this point, if you're growing like this, you don't give away 50% of your business. Are you hurting for cash right now? Yes. Ah. Yes. You're right. <laughs> oh. Ah, it comes out. Robin, Robin, oh, Robin yeah. needs some cash. <laughs> Can we just go back to my question? What does the last two years like look like? Uh, gross profits about two hundred thousand. Bottom line profits about forty-five thousand. And are you being paid? I, I'm not using any money. I'm putting everything back into the business. So what did you spend 2.5 mil on? Well, your manufacturing, your, your time, all your costs. The Hong Kong business that we're selling today that owns, that I've transferred all the IP to, and that owns everything. Oh man, this is starting to scare me. I mean, the, the Hong Kong business that we're selling today, we've transferred everything into. I wish you all the best, uh, but I'm out. Thank you very much. OK. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm ready to make a decision too, Roberto, and um, I think you've got a fantastic product. You're clearly a good sales guy. Where I think the answer to Steve's question is where the money's gone is I don't think you've managed your business that well, to be blunt. And no disrespect, I think, fair, fair I think the product's good. Get your business more focused, get the cash flow right, get a loan and dig yourself out of this hole and then you'll live to see better days. But I'm afraid I'm out. I understand. Look, um, you, you've put an incredible amount of passion and focus on this for a long time and no doubt you've put your heart and soul into it and I admire that because that's the entrepreneurial drive we need. Unfortunately, um, my value on your business is a completely different room, maybe even a completely different house to where you're sitting. Yeah. So for that reason, I'm out. Okay. Today you're looking for a business partner. I think you've done a wonderful job and the product looks great but it's not an investment for me, so I'm out. No worries. Roberto, the product's actually really good. I would actually purchase it. You definitely feel the difference between where you've used it and where you haven't used it. But you're valuing the business of the money you need, not the value of the business. So you're going, I need $1.1 million to get the electrical thing, to get this, to get all these things done. Yes. That's very different to the value of business. I hope you do really well, because it is a really good product, but I'm out. OK. Roberto, good luck. No worries. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, Roberto. Thank you, Roberto. Good on you for coming. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank yeah. you.
Hi, Sarah. Hi, Roberto. You've come out with a smile on your face. I've got a great product, as I said, so and I'll, and I'll keep going. You'll see it in the stores soon. Next on Shark Tank is an entrepreneur who, despite her young age, has already been lucky in business. I'm Bethany, I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Lismore, New South Wales. I would describe myself as driven, ambitious, and hardworking most of the time. My father, Tim Spore, is a pastor. Okay, let's say thanks. Grace, health, and strength, strength to us all. Amen. I have really fond memories of growing up. We'd tour out of the Evangeline bus preaching the gospel. I've always been an entrepreneur. I've also won numerous awards, both locally, state, and nationally. It's just following God and being able to work for the glory of God. For me, I feel that that's given me a competitive edge in business. I believe the Sharks will like my product. I think that it's something new that's never been done before. Good evening, Sharks. First, I'd like to start by thanking you for the opportunity to come here today to share with you my business. Today, I am asking for a $40,000 investment for 30% stake in my company. My name is Bethany Grace Spore, and I'm 20 years old. Please consider investing in me. Wow. Before the break, we met 20-year-old Bethany Grace, a high achiever from Lismore with a spiritual approach to business. Today, I am asking for a $40,000 investment for 30% stake in my company. My name is Bethany Grace Spore, and I'm 20 years old. I've been making skincare products with the ingredients from my parents' farm since I was a kid, and I launched my business, bethanygrace.net, for natural skincare products when I was 13. Wow. Wow. In my business, I love that I can make products from scratch to match my skin type and match my needs. And I want everyone to have the freedom to do this as well. <laughs> Introducing the Custom Skincare Shop. Products made by experts on the spot, step by step, with all the ingredients that you choose. It's about interaction. I want to launch a new online store where you can build your products online through the interactive mobile app or come in store to see the action. I'm a young Aussie entrepreneur with a small business, but big plans for the future and innovative growth. So if you'd like to join me in this mission to help change the world's approach to natural beauty, please consider investing in me. So if you'd like to come off, off your chairs and experience this journey with me as I freestyle create a product. All right, I'll have a look. Yeah, okay. I'll go as well. <laughs> you need all the help you can get, mate. Jean, how are you? I'm Bethany. Hi, Bethany. Lovely, lovely to meet lovely you. Lovely to meet you too. So today I'm making an invigorating peppermint bath scrub. So this here is shea nut butter, and it's to maintain a good balance of oils in the skin. And then next, I'm just going to add the peppermint oil. So it's a bit of a neutral fragrance, so you can try it as well later. <laughs> um, Riverbank sand, and that's a great exfoliant, not too harsh, really yep. gentle, so you can still use it on your face. Wow. It does smell amazing. Yeah. We'll go and sit down. That's all, that's all great. So what are you demonstrating for us now? I don't so understand So in the that. custom skincare shop. Right. So that will be an online function where you can go on there, work with the beauty expert to create a product that's right for you. So it'll be like a mobile game app. You go through a forest and you choose the ingredients to go into a virtual jar. And, and so, it and then, right, so that's an and online. Yeah. yeah, but isn't it going to cost more for customization? Well, if you go to a restaurant somewhere and you order a meal, yep. that meal is made pretty well from scratch. They yes. put everything together, but they've got processes in order so that they just know how to do it quickly. A lot like Boost Juice. You yep. go there, we know the recipe, we know how to put it together. Yep. We can just throw it all together and create the product for you. Actually, it's beautiful. Love it. So what difference will $40,000 make to your business and what are you going to spend it on? It will achieve the online store, fully functioned. I want it to be something that's quality, something that people get excited about. At the moment, I've got a lot of people that are waiting, that are keen for it. They want to be able to create their own product from scratch. It's just not there yet. And I don't want to present it unless it's quality. Very confident for a 20 year old. You're doing a damn good job. Thank you. So, walk me through how tough it is or how easy it is as a 20 year old to be an entrepreneur. 
I love it. Um, I started when I was five years old. Um, I was making my own jewellery products. Then at the age of nine, I was making handmade cards and selling them to florists around town. And then rose to being a manager across four stores at McDonald's. Good training. Fantastic training. That was all I could get, but I embraced that opportunity. When you're sitting there with a manufacturer and trying to negotiate a contract price to produce the Bethany Grace Ray, I mean, do they take you seriously? Um, when I was younger, I found that difficult. For me, I was a very shy girl, being homeschooled. My dad's a pastor. But I feel that through the um, McDonald's process and through coming to here and doing a degree in business, I feel that that's given me that passion. So you've got a degree in business? Yes. At the age of 20? Yes. Congratulations. Well done. Wow. Well done. Well done. Thank you. And Dad was a pastor? Yes, he still is. Any brothers and sisters? Yes. <laughs> Funny you should ask that. Homeschooled <laughs> pastor. He has 11 children. Wow. Eight in my immediate family. Yeah, I'm the middle child of the eight. You've picked the, one of the most competitive... Yes. <laughs> ...industries in the world. Yes. So how are you going to compete? That's why I needed something different. So that's where I came up with a custom shop. Sales to date? In the first three weeks, it made $3,500. Mm -hmm. And that was averaging at 250 a day for the first month. Since then, it's slowed down a little bit. So the sales to date, 8500 and the cost of producing those? At retail price, it is 47% profit. And then at wholesale price, 28% profit. Hey, uh, Bethany, um, I've really enjoyed this. You said consider an investment in me. Yeah. I think you're the first person who's come in here and said, you need to invest in me, not my business. And that was really refreshing. And you are exceptionally investable. Thank you. Um, you are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, I know nothing about the cosmetics industry <laughs> at all. I'm probably planning to keep it that way. But I ain't your man, so I'm out. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It was lovely to meet you, and I just appreciate your kind words. Thank you so much. No worries. Cheers. You know, part of the joy of your product is you. It's how you present it. So the thing for me is I can't see how we can bottle what you stand for and your energy on the farm if you got a massive order, I'm unsure of how I could do that. Yeah. So, alas, for this, I'm not going to be an investor, but I'll be a great advocate. But for this investment, I'm out. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you once again. Thank you. I'm actually taking you very seriously as a, as a young entrepreneur. Thank I think you, you, sir. Your, your red hot passion for the industry you're in and the products you're doing and the business you're doing. Um, but it's not my cup of tea. I am concerned about the unproven business model. So, good luck, but I'm out. Fantastic. Thank you so much, sir. Pleasure. Love to meet you. I'm still thinking. Are you in? It's worth $40,000 just to give her a job. Yes, That's I what think, you're thinking. I was thinking That's the same thing myself, thinking. actually, as well. I know yeah. you. Um, look, Bethany, unbelievable. And what a great example you are. But I don't particularly buy the market you've chosen on this occasion, but you're 20 and there's going to be so many great opportunities. So keep going. I definitely believe in you, but it's not an investable opportunity for me. Yeah. I'm out. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And then there was one. <laughs> and then there was one. Um, the problem is, there's only one you. Yes. You could not have picked a harder industry to get into if you tried, okay? But you're passionate about it. Bethany, I would love to do a deal with you. I would love it. You're not getting my money? but you'll get my contact details. Thank you. I will work with you over the next few years, and whether it's this one or another one, I will, I will be your unofficial mentor. That's I'm fantastic. Out. We want to keep tabs on you. <laughs> yeah, we'll be watching. Thank well you. done. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. You, Thank did, you. Well you did an awesome done. job. Thank well you. done. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. It's been a privilege. Lovely Thank to you. meet you. Enjoy your trip back to Lismore, Thanks mate. Thanks so much. I will. Right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Well, I wonder if she's up for adoption. Oh, mate. I'd have her. Amazing. I was thinking, I was thinking to myself, you know, business degree, just bring her on as a, as a research analyst or a something for a year. I was serious, $40,000 is worth it, you know, that's a recruiter's fee. You did not hear me say I'll give her my contact oh, no. details? Amazing. <laughs> 
first into the tank are two sisters who are hoping to shake up the beauty industry in Australia. Hi, welcome to the home of Frank and Sol. Come, come in. in. I'm Jamie. I'm Jenny. We are twins. And Jamie is older by two minutes. And I would like to think I'm a little bit wiser. Really? <laughs> we moved back home a year ago to start our business. So this is our stock room, showroom, and my parents' former lounge room. <laughs> come, come. There are challenges. Live with, back with our parents. Sorry about that. At 38, that was a quite a humbling experience, but we were happy to do that because we want every single cent to go into our business. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm Jenny. We're from Frank and Soul. We are so excited to tell you all about our new products and brands that we just brought over this week. It is very important that we get an investment from Shark Tank so that we can grow our business and move out of our parents' home, yeah. finally. Bye. <laughs> so this is it for us. We are ready for this and we are pumped. Hi Sharks, I'm Jamie Park. I'm Jenny Park. We are identical twin sisters, best friends, and co-founders of Frankie and Soul. We are seeking $35,000 for 12% equity today. Frankie and Soul wants Australians to have healthy, glowing skin by bringing only the best natural skincare and beauty products and the latest trends and insights from Korea, the newly crowned global beauty superpower. Sharks, did you know that in the last two years, major international press have announced Korean uh, skincare as 12 years ahead of the rest of the world in terms of technology and innovations? BB and CC creams, sheet masks, compact cushions. Janine and Naomi, I'm sure you've tried one of these products before. Koreans have taken these innovations into global beauty phenomenon. So Korean beauty in three words, it's effective, innovative, and affordable. Our mission is to be the first and most trusted source for all things K-beauty. We have actually brought some of our best-selling products for you. Okay, and that's 35,000 for 12% of yes, your company. that's correct. Identical twins, eh? We're identical. And where were you born? You were born in Korea? We were born in Korea, but raised in Sydney. Right, how old were you when you came to Sydney? We were nine years old. Nine years. Uh, okay. Thank you very so, much. Red I, I was wondering if that one was for me. Thank you. That's green, Glenn. And this is for you, Jim. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's very generous. So just to summarise, you've curated a selection of Korean-based beauty and anti-aging products. You put that together and you're importing them to Australia and selling through a website. Yes. Not direct to retailers. No. So I'm... that's the business model. Yes, and we do want to go into distribution. Yeah. And the, um, the mask. Yes. So, so this is a sea kelp mask. Um, I'll just show that around for you to have a look. It's packed full of iodine, minerals, and natural bamboo and sea kelp extracts. So you stick that on your face? Yes, like, just for 15 minutes, and you'll get an instant glowing skin. But are these products that you've given us, are they in the Australian marketplace already? They are not in the Australian market at all. We are unique because there are no natural, organic Korean products in Australia. We are the only ones who are curating this. So it's probably the best moisturising cream I've ever had on my hands. This product is our best-selling cream. I can see that, Especially right. among breastfeeding mothers. Breastfeeding are... mothers? Yes. <laughs> they <laughs> love this like product. Because... <laughs> but, but I have to say, it is fantastic. It is. It's amazing. Jeannie, Jeannie and Jamie? Jamie and Jenny. Jamie and Jenny. Jamie and Jenny. Right, yeah, got the wrong way around. Hey, um, I'm not your natural customer for this sort of stuff. <laughs> that's, that's Steve, that. this this is going to help you. That's all good. I'm very keen to understand some maybe some revenues and some traction. So we've been preparing our business for one year. Uh, however, our trading uh, period has been just for two months. Okay, two months is good. And so we've, what have we been doing uh, in two our months? total revenue up to date is fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, you've made hundreds of dollars. Yes.
you're only asking for thirty-five thousand dollars, right? Which you honestly could have a small party with, yes. right? It's not a great deal of money. Yes. Yes. This, this is cosmetics. This is a massive industry, right? Yes. People will fight you. Okay. So how are you going to use thirty-five thousand dollars to get any sort of outcome? The reason why we apply is because of you, sharks. We want you. We are. We are going to be like sponges. No, no, no. Sponges. I understand that. I understand that. No, yes. no, that's not the question, right? The question is, what do you do with thirty-five thousand? Oh, yes. Let, let me finish. So we. we... So you stand up for yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting to it. She's getting to it. So we we want to learn and grow, and we want to scale our business. That's why we came on the show. Wait, 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 wait. Thirty-five thousand bucks. What do you do with thirty-five thousand bucks? So we'll be spending the thirty-five thousand dollars mainly on marketing, stocks, video equipment, and oh. computers. Okay. Well, now you're up to four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck with that one. Now look, I, I'm going to let you know where I'm at. I am not your target market. Thank you for the gift. You, you, you're not there yet. Look, please, I fully encourage you to keep going, keep going. I'd, I'd love to be proven wrong, and in 12 months' time, you go, we've just turned over 400,000 bucks. That'd be fantastic. I don't think you're going to do it with 35,000 bucks. I'm out. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, I look at your branding, so you go, okay, how, how are you positioned in the marketplace? I don't go beauty career. Now, I go beauty Paris, beauty, you know, so how are you going to get that message out? And why is Korea better than Paris and Australia and anywhere else? Koreans are one of the most demanding and discerning beauty consumers in the world. You'll find a beauty shop... Oh, mate, shop... you haven't spoken to Naomi. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so the companies have to match this uh, demand by bringing out only the best okay. products. So how do you get the Australian public to know that Korea is the epicenter of beauty. So that is up to us, actually. So right now, we have a very detailed website. We've only been up there for two months, so the numbers are still very low, right. but we are working to, to increase our audience. With your $35,000. Having a website doesn't mean anything unless you have traffic. Yes. Yeah. I love your products. I think they're, they're interesting and I can see how curating a very special uh, line has a potential competitive advantage. I wish you great success. I think you've got something unique. You've got to keep going. I'm out. Thank you. It's a very early stage business. You put a big valuation on it that I can't justify it and you're not floating my boat. Maybe it's the beauty industry, I'm not sure. I'm out. Thank you. Right, so we have three sharks out, two are left. Happen to be the ladies. It happens to be the ladies. Girls, you will be successful. There is no question Thank in my you. mind, but you're climbing a massive mountain. And you, you're also against massive players. For this one, I'm out. Thank you. Why haven't you asked for more money? We didn't want to offer you blue skies when we're such a young company. It, when we, when we um, go past, surpass that estimate, you know, that would be great and we, we will go strength to strength. Right up your alley, mate. What am I going to do with you two? <laughs> yes, what are you going to do? When twins Jamie and Jenny pitched their Korean beauty website, Frankie and Soul, they hoped to prove to the sharks that K-beauty is the future. But with all the sharks out except one, it's their final chance to convince Naomi to buy into their business. Why haven't you asked for more money? We didn't want to offer you blue skies when we're such a young company. We want to learn and grow from you as well. What am I going to do with you two? <laughs> Yes, what are you going to do? I would love to support you. But it's not going to be with this investment now. 
The $35,000 isn't enough. $100,000 builds the pressure. I've worked with female founders before who can't sleep because they're so desperate to get the money back to their investors. And then what happens is they start chasing the dollar, which, you know, could be a good thing, but you also are driven by your purpose of exposing Australia to Korean technology. So um, I will work out some way that I can support you in terms of promoting what you're doing, but this is not an investment for me for that reason. I'm out. Oh, ladies. Good luck to Good you. Good luck. Okay. Don't Keep give going. up. Keep it's going. early days. Thanks, ladies. Thank, thank, thank you. you so Good much. Luck. Really, thank you very much. To be honest, yes, we are disappointed, but we will go from strength to strength from here. We'll continue to market and promote Frank and Soul. So we're excited from here now. It's just the beginning. Oh, what gorgeous girls. Yeah. If I actually had more sales and more uh, sort of pull from the website, it could have been so different, I think. But, uh...